Hello everyone in Panda Lemon Tarts, and for this video, we will be making a laundromat in our Lavender Lane, Bloxburg City. Today, I will also be furnishing one of the townhouses from last episode, since I did say that I will be following the top comments concept when I furnish it. Let's start building! <laughs> First of all, I just want to say how nice it was to read all of your comments on last episode's concept competition. I read through most of them and you guys are so creative. So this comment by Raylan1929 suggests that an old granny with five cats should live there. She recently relocated to be closer to her grandson, the college boy in the apartment. Her home is decorated in vintage fashion and even has an entire bedroom dedicated to her cats and cat toys and cat trees. She also enjoys knitting and cooking as a hobby and often cooks full-on meals for her grandson and delivers it to him. She does worry that he's not eating enough. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Through delivering the meals, she also meets the college girl. She starts teaching the girl how to cook and thinks that the girl and her grandson would be the perfect match. I love, 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 love the concept. And I'm so happy you guys voted for it. I think everyone here ships the college girl and the college boy, honestly. I did also say that I would just tour this when I finish it, but where's the fun in that? So I'm taking you with me. Here I am making a cat, but then I realized I'm not dokey and my cat ended up looking like a dog. A lot of people compliment my chickens from the farm roleplay series, but I actually didn't make them. My friend Doki did. She is really talented. I, however, lack in this department, so bet I gave up easily. Moving inside the house, I deleted the moving boxes because grandma is moving in. Then I went back and forth copying the kitchen counters and such from the neighbor's apartment. Now I have to decide the color palette we will be using for this build. Now because a grandma does live here, I decided on this deeper wood color. Because older houses do have this color more. I also went for this beige color. I remember the bathroom in my IRL house. Um, it used to have the same color for the bathtub and all that. It kind of confirmed how old the house is. And of course, the intricate wallpaper. It was mentioned that this old lady loves to cook and even cooks her grandson's meals on the daily in fear that he isn't eating enough. I added clutter in the kitchen to demonstrate that she does spend quite a lot of time here preparing food. I put a stool there so she has a place to rest when she is waiting for a dish to finish cooking and even these hooks which hold her collection of aprons. Before we continue this video, our sponsor for today is Peppy Play. They recently came out with a new game called Peppy Hospital 2. This game is an interactive and educational roleplay paradise that focuses on this hospital. Let me show you around. We can vaccinate patients to prevent them from catching the virus. We can also make them take blood tests to see if they caught it. Oh good, this lady doesn't have the virus. It also encourages us to take preventative measures like putting hand sanitizer on and wearing a face mask so the virus doesn't spread. We can cure patients by giving them these medicines as well. As for the virus floating around, we have our trusty robots to keep the space safe and clean. This game offers so much more, like dress-up lockers, many patients to take care of, even an emergency helicopter, and a science lab to run fun experiments. You can now download this game for free using the link in the description below or pinned comments. You can also download using this QR code right here. Now let's get back into the video. Now going to the entrance, I was quite upset that my cat making endeavors didn't go as planned. So the least I could do was make a cat tree. I've made one of these before but I'm quite sure that it was before the transformation tool. Well now it was a lot easier to make. I just know that a pet update will eventually come in Bloxburg where we will be able to adopt pets and keep them in our homes and we will have access to a selection of pet furniture to choose from. This isn't confirmed or anything, I just know that with life simulator games like this, a pet update is inevitable. I'm excited for when that day comes, but let's be honest, for me, whenever Bloxburg updates, it's bittersweet because I have to replace all of the stuff I invented before the actual object was added in Bloxburg. Now that I think about it, I should do a whole video of me just replacing all of my old items with the new ones, namely the spas I've created because now we actually have legit yoga mats and steam rooms and lockers, etc. <laughs> now that our cat tree is ready, I'll be cloning it in all of the rooms in classic cat lady fashion. One in the living room, downstairs, one in the cat room, and the bedroom. In the cat room, I added a lot of sitting areas. It's not only for the old lady to just sit and chill with her cats, but also it kind of acts like a bed for the cats as well. I got this shelf idea thing from my cat cafe, where cats can just climb and walk there, I guess. I never owned a cat before, so I don't know if cats needs 
need beds, um, or if they just sleep wherever. <laughs> That's also the reason why I added a lot of pillows. And let's not forget all of the knitted blankets because Grandma loves to knit. Back to the entrance area. I put a lot of frames there because I imagine that she's quite family oriented considering she moved all the way here just to take care of her grandson. I of course do not have any family stock pictures so let's just pretend that these are pictures of her grandson. After adding a little bit more clutter, I moved to the living room downstairs. Now you might be thinking, why does everything seem a little mismatched? Well, that's where the antique aspect comes into play. Granny here is actually quite rich. She is the mother of the college boy's father, and we established that they are quite rich. Granny is loaded, but humble, you see. Her place might not look like much, but everything here is mostly antiques, even the chairs. And if you add up all the cost of these antique furnitures, Granny is a confirmed millionaire. After dealing with the bathroom, we now get to move upstairs and do her bedroom. Granny did lose her husband a decade ago already, so everything here reminds her of him. She still spritz his cologne on the bed sheets in an attempt to make them smell more like him. All the jewelry he gave her are also all there. This is the place where she just relaxes and knits. She first started a rule where her cats can't enter the sacred space, but who was she kidding? She's a crazy cat lady after all, and that's why there's another cat tree in here. I'll show you more during the tour, but for now, let's move on to the laundromat, which is actually what's supposed to be the main focus of this video, but whatever. <laughs> so starting off with the making of the Lavender Lane laundromat. I'm making it kind of canon that the more you go into the town, the older the buildings are. At the front, the Korean barbecue and the apartments are quite modern looking, and in the middle, the townhouses and the grocery store are more old looking. So now this is the furthest we have ever built away from the entrance. And this build will have an older design in terms of exterior. This little wall that is protruding right now will be a false wall. I'll be adding a window there that doesn't look into anything. Like I said, it's a false wall and it is only there for aesthetic purposes. We will also have this rooftop area where the resident that lives here can enjoy the outdoors without leaving the property. The colors I chose for this build confused me until the very end because after I finished filming, I was still tweaking it a little bit, but I did make it a washed out green color and dark roofs. I used the blanket to make this shelter mobob thingy just to make our build more charming. Then again, for aesthetic purposes, using structurals, I added these thingies, forgot what they're called, but they make the build look hella cute. I also incorporated a little shed that's just to put the washing of the guy that lives there. Uh, so just letting you know a little bit about the young man, he is in charge of his family's laundry business. Money got tight and his parents had to move away back to their hometown since it was more expensive living in the city. Some of the laundry machines are broken and they can't afford to get them fixed. That's why sometimes the young man that lives here dries them by taking them outside in the sun. Focusing on the inside of our laundromat business now, I put towels inside because I assume there's bound to be some water leaks considering some machines are broken already. This little hallway here is really awkward because it's so narrow, but it is just a way for staff to be able to go around the washing machine side or the office side. The reason why I have it like this is because I wanted the laundromat to be a 24-7 laundromat. I didn't want the customers to have access to the office area at all times. This way, I can lock the office area at night and still leave the washing machine area open. There's something about laundromats that makes me feel so nostalgic. It gives me the same feeling when I think about arcades or a movie rental place, a roller skating rink, a diner. It just has this retro feel that makes me want to just have a photo shoot next to the washing machines. But yes, this is a self-serve station where anyone can just wash their load, but of course having to pay via coins to use the services. I put quite a lot of apartments in this town and not a single one of them has a washing machine. So it's safe to say that business is getting better. And who knows, maybe this will encourage the young man's family to move back here in the city. There are those who prefer if they just drop off their clothes and the laundromat staff will take care of it. And this room are where all of the clothes are that have been cleaned and ready for a pickup. The young man mostly manages this business, but because more and more people are moving into Lavender Lane and business has been picking up, he thought he'd try and get help. So he put a flyer around asking if anyone wants to work here and after a week of no calls, someone did call him. It was the college girl. She really needs a job, you see. So on the basis of elimination, she was the only candidate and therefore got the job. This girl is really clumsy. She slipped on the first day of work, talks too much to the customers, but 
He had to give it to her. She was a fighter. Despite being scolded daily, she rocks up ready to work the next day. Every day he thinks, this is the day. She will finally quit. Then there she was. So he got used to her. And one day, she didn't turn up. And not that he's worried or anything. She's probably falling behind on tests or something like that. But after three days, she still wasn't at work. So after finishing his shift that night, he decided to go to her apartment. He knocked and no one answered for a while until someone eventually opened the door. But it wasn't the girl. It was the college boy upstairs. He was holding soup, soup his grandmother made just for the girl. Turns out she was sick and recovering. And that, my friends, is how you write a love triangle. So please place your bets down below to see who she will end up with. So just quickly, I am making the young man's rooftop hangout. Completed with an outdoor table set, hanged his clothes outside because he is a cheapskate and doesn't want to use his machines for his own clothes. He's really into fitness and a guy like him wouldn't be the first person you have in mind when thinking about someone who likes to secretly garden. I put moss on the rooftop floor to complete the look. Just like the grocery store, this building has a loft, but it wasn't supposed to be a living space. It was going to be for storage or for office space. But like I said before, money was a little tight at some point, so the young man decided to live here on his own, taking care of the family business. He needed a bathroom, so he also transformed this little corner into an illegal bathroom. So yes, he did build it without the town council's knowledge. That's why it's so poorly made. For the inside of his little apartment, you could say, all of the stuff his family could bring with them stayed here. Just a bunch of clutter from the people he loves the most, along with his fitness stuff because he's really into fitness. A lot of family pictures too because their faces serve as a constant reminder for him to work hard every day, just so they can move back into the city again. But again, I don't have family stock photos, so let's pretend that these pictures are of his family. Not gonna lie, I really wanted to add a gym for this Lavender Lane episode instead, but the whole fitness leveling up system made me feel so lazy. Like, I'll eventually do it, but I haven't even achieved level 10 on gardening yet. What makes them think I can unlock fitness items by working for like level 30 fitness? For finishing touches, I added fairy lights outside and connected our build to the electricity poles. Welcome to Cindy's laundromat, managed by her eldest son. I'll show you around. Okay, let's tour this place. So it's called Cindy's Laundromat and I'm really proud of the decal. Look at it, it's so cute. Um, okay, so it's called Cindy's Laundromat because that's the young man's mom's name. And she's not here to manage it because, you know, the her eldest son is the one managing it. But anyways, who else is invested in the love triangle, guys? I just made that up on the spot, but I'm actually so, like, you know, invested. <laughs> Let me know what you think is going to happen down below. We're going to we're gonna plot this thing, you know, all of us. We're going to do it. We're going to create a story out of this. <laughs> the Lavender Lane Lovers. <gasps> Stop it. I just made that up on the spot. Okay, okay, back to the actual tour. This is what the laundromat looks like inside. And I forgot to tell you, I did put some ironing boards because aren't those like a must for laundry um, businesses? Um, and going upstairs, I put a little gate because I'm like, you know, no customers allowed here. Just to tell them off. This is our illegal bathroom. You can tell it's illegal because it's so badly done, okay? This was just created by the young man. He's just like, yo, whatever, you need a bathroom. I'm gonna put it here. I am in love with this rooftop area. If you watch K-drama, you know that rooftops are a thing in K-dramas, okay? They're so aesthetic. Like, I feel like generally if you say rooftop, you'll immediately think like, oh, rooftop pool. You know what I mean? Like really fancy stuff. But I really like this vibe we're going for because it's not like anything fancy but it's just, you know, just right. I really like our little loft area too. It wasn't, this was supposed to be an office. Remember that guys, it wasn't supposed to be some sort of like actual house. They just made it into this. And I made this um, boy's bedroom and honestly, it's so accurate. Don't you think so? <laughs> uh, love it, honestly. I just put a bunch of like sports stuff because not gonna lie, I wouldn't know a thing about sports stuff, so I was like, NBA, and I just put any decal that had like basketball players in it. I'm gonna be like, FIFA. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Anyways, moving on to Granny's house. Okay, let's, let's go in, guys, let's go in. This is the college boy's grandmother's house. 
filled with, you know, antiques, even the pictures. The pictures are worth, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, and that should tell you how rich she is. She just, she just doesn't seem rich. So I made this into a closet instead of like the toilet, like the others, because I don't know, I feel like granny should be quirky. And I kind of imagine her as like a cool grandma. You know, she's matchmaking right now. She's a cool grandma. She's not like a, a stuck up grandma. We have her knitting stuff over there. And I'm actually quite sad about the cat thing because I couldn't make a cat. But later when we make a little mini movie out of it, like a little trailer afterwards. Um, yeah, we will definitely add cats. You know, I'll make people play as cats. Um, yeah, that was the cat room. You know, lucky cats. You know, they have an, a room all to themselves. Um, and going downstairs, this is the living room, and it's very cozy, honestly. Cat beds everywhere. And uh, don't be fooled, these, those, like, cat toys are not the cats, okay? Those are just toys of the cats. And this is the bathroom. Quite simple. I wanted to fit a bathtub, but I couldn't because I sacrificed my toilet for a, um, a closet. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you later.